back in the bedroom that's under renovation. So, I had to remove this piece of drywall because when I took the paneling down, I saw that this box was an old work box. And I didn't want that. So, I have a new work box here. I know it's a three port or a three gang, but I'm not going to use this one. I'll use these two or these two. So I have more room for these double switches because you can see they're pretty big. This is a, a dimmer and a fan control for the fan that's going to be up there. So first thing I'm going to do is unscrew these two screws and these two screws. These two screws hold in the dimmer switch on the left. These two screws hold in the fan control on the right. Let me unscrew those and then I'll get back. Regular screwdriver, I've got plenty. They'll do it. Quick disclaimer, make sure the power is off before you start. I already checked it once, but wouldn't hurt to check it again. I've got two voltage testers. This one's already on. I, don't, I haven't used this one in a while, so. It's reading clear. We're clear. All right, so take a minute, make sure you know what you're doing. This neutral here is just an extra, as it is up there. So it's completely disconnected. This neutral, coming from this wire on the right, is connected to this switch right here. This wire, which is connected the hot for the dimmer switch, so it comes into this hot also from this wire. So we know that this wire on the right does the uh, light. This wire on the left does the fan. It's coming in with the dormant neutral. And the hot connects to the fan control. And this other hot. Let me look here. This hot comes into the fan control. Other hot goes back out. So when the power is on, this wire is our power wire. This neutral from this wire on the right comes up here. The light connects to this one. So this is the power wire for the light. These two do the fan. Keep that in mind. That's why on the dimmer, we have our power coming in here. It's also serving as the power coming in for the fan. So this wire here is both power wires, one coming in, one going back out. That's the switch leg. This one here on the left is solely for the fan, so it acts as a normal wire for the fan. And then the extra neutral I mentioned up here is actually hot and it's right there and there's two of them spliced together so this box only not only is the fan but it's also sending power to something else this room was wired in the 80s so I have to figure this out so quick recap wire coming in right here they're both power wires like I said before the one on the right because this neutral coming in goes to the dimmer. It stops there. This hot is the hot for the dimmer. Excuse me. I'm sorry. This neutral here is the dimmer. This hot's coming in. Connects to the dimmer as our power wire for that. Connects to the fan control as our power wire for that. This neutral here is dormant. This hot is the other hot for the fan. And my knob is broken. Lovely. I'll have to find a new fan control knob. Darn it. So anyway, that's our recap. So what I have to do is undo all of these, move them over to this box. We'll have to translate these connections back to each other. I have the wire nut off that one hot. Hot coming in, connects to this and this. So these three go together. So what we need to do, I'm gonna move them over. 
one wire at a time. So I'm going to move the right wire first since it does not act as a normal wire. So I can go ahead and get the hard part over with and then I'll get back with you. Okay, this wire here has been completely removed from the box at this point. Now what I need to do is find one of these knockouts. There are 12 knockouts in this box. I won't be using any of these on the bottom. I'll be using one of these top ones. Knock that out. We'll get this wire in there. The light control is going to be on this side, fan control on this side. Okay. You can see right here where the copper is bent. It's in a C shape. Always make sure that when you turn it, it's in the direction that it will spin with it. I just caught my mistake. That's why I'm recording this. You can see how I did it. This is the correct way. When you put it in here and the screw turns right, it won't pull it out that way. I'm going to reverse that. That's not code. All right, after about six weeks of failing, I got this connected here and here properly. Now what I have to do is, this is very simple right here. Undo that and get this other wire in here. I already had the other knockout taken out. We'll be good to go. And that is how you go from an old workbox to a new workbox. Thanks for watching.